Okay guys, so we're gonna, uh, it's now 90 degrees, it's about 11.30, and we're gonna get this fixed now. So, this is a uh, can of our 134A that I picked up. It uh, was about 22 bucks from AutoZone, and uh, I borrowed one of these valves. AutoZone also sells these valves too, but uh, this valve is uh, for tapping this can of uh, refrigerant into the manifold gauges. Now if you wanted to spend more money, you could buy the cans that already have the hose, the fill hose and a little gauge already on the can. Those are uh, only maybe five bucks more or so. But uh, in the meantime, I'm just gonna take this valve here. Now this valve, once you screw it in, it'll puncture the uh, this can. So we're gonna screw it on first here. And always wear safety glasses when you're working with AC systems. Now, um, I haven't punctured the can yet, but we're going to plug this line in here. So this is the fill line. Alright, so we're going to basically fill the system using this can and we're going to load it through the low pressure side, which is over here, and not the high pressure side. So we're going to leave the high side closed the entire time and we're only going to open up this low side. And a um, couple tips and tricks, we're going to turn on the compressor, so we're going to turn the AC on so that way it draws in the uh, new refrigerant. And then this window here on the manifold gauge set, we should be able to see the coolant flowing through here so that'll uh, show us that it's actually running through or from the can through the low line into the AC okay let's open up this line here so we can see our pressure okay. Now this is kind of interesting. So now the low line is showing 55 pounds and the high line is only showing 50. So let me turn on the AC and see if the high kicks up. are running you can see now it's 30 and the high side kicked up to 100 so we want to add a little bit more refrigerant to this system here. Okay. all right so here's our can it's hooked up we're gonna puncture the can screwing this in here Okay, so that would have punctured a needle into the can. We're gonna back it out a little bit so we can get some flow. Okay. All these connections are on here. And now what we're gonna do is open up the low side. And we're gonna fill the uh, refrigerant from this yellow line through the low side into the system. So we're gonna open this up. Okay, here you go. If you can see in here, you can see the refrigerant packing into the system running from here in. Okay, here's more of a close-up. And you can see how the refrigerant is going through the little sight glass. So right now we're about 40 pounds. The high side's rising. And uh, I'm just going to hold this can upside down. It 
should probably take nearly the entire can. But uh, you need to have the compressor running for it to pull this in. So it's just flowing through here, through the sight glass. Like I said, we, we left the high side closed. We only opened the low side. gonna shake this can a little bit here and watch this climb give it just a minute here of running I'm gonna reference my chart that I took a that I uh, took a picture of so it says uh, it's about 90 degrees. The high side, well, the low low side should be uh, 40 to 55 psi. The high side should be uh, 250 to 270 psi. So we might even need another can. So this feels about empty. I don't feel much else in there. Nothing flowing in the sight glass either, so we're gonna close this off now. All right, this is closed. So that's better. Let's go check inside. You know what? Yeah, it feels colder. feels good. I wish I had a temperature gauge where I could uh, actually measure how much colder it is, but I don't know. I might need another uh, can. So I'm going to put up my windows now. Right now the low side's reading about 25, the high side's reading about 175, and at this point I'm not sure if the AC compressor is actually engaged or not, so um, I might pick up another can and do this one more time, so stay tuned. And we're back already, so I just happened to get lucky. My neighbor came over and saw that I was working on my car, and I told him, well, I'm going to need to add more refrigerant. He said, oh, I got a can of that. So he just hooked me up. This is a 12 ounce can. The previous can was a 14 ounce can, I believe. So let me go grab that real quick. So here's the two cans. And funny enough, it's the exact same brand and everything. So, um, yeah. And what, so what I'm going to do is, so I already added this was 14 ounces, which the can actually breaks it down. It says it's, it's actually 11 ounces of refrigerant two and a half ounces of oil. Uh, this one is a 12 ounce can and I don't know if this one has the oil or not but for just adding uh, adding extra refrigerant this should be good. So I'm gonna hook this up in the same fashion. I'm gonna hook this up to the yellow fill line here. I'm gonna crack open the uh, the valves on the um, the high side and the low side. We're gonna leave these valves closed and I'm gonna start up the car, get the uh, compressor running, and then I'm gonna crack open the low valve and we'll feed this back in. So just the same exact process we just followed. And, uh, okay, so I'm gonna screw this on here. This is that adapter I was just talking about. So thanks to my friends. I My mechanic friend gave me the this valve to borrow. That was seven bucks. And my neighbor just gave me this can of refrigerant, which was, almost 20 bucks so thanks a lot for helping out everyone so we're gonna screw this in and puncture that the can okay we'll uh, back it out just a little bit okay and then we'll open up Start up the car, get the AC rocking, and then we'll uh, crack open the low line to fill it. Okay. All right, 
we have this already punctured in here and now I'm just going to open up this low valve and start feeding the refrigerant in. What the problem was there, I didn't have the valve open all the way on the low line. So now it's filling. You can see this, this is the coolant coming through here. And let me pull up my guide here to figure out what the uh, rough number should be. I think we're just going to end up adding this entire can here. that's bothering me is the high side is still kind of low so it says uh should be between 45 and 55 psi on the low side so right now i'm at about 45 the high side should be at 90 degrees ambient should be about 250 to 270 right now the high side's only about 175 so not quite sure what that's about but you know what we just added two cans that's about all that I'll add for right now until I can figure out, uh, you know, what the actual specs are, so. I'm gonna get this buttoned up, but I'll call this a success. If you look over here, this is now has condensation all over it. It's nice and cold. You can see all the lines here that we were, uh, so we have condensation. So all the Freon was getting into the system. And then uh, the car is now nice and cold on the inside as well. So hope that helps. This is how you use AC manifold gauges to fill your uh, B5 Audi S4. And it's pretty straightforward, just using off-the-shelf cans of uh, R134A. So let me know if you have any questions. Comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, until next time, see you out there.